Hi everyone, I'm Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together we are Reany Audrey. Yep. I thought we were finished with this game. We're never finished with this game. Who is ever finished with Metal Gear Solid 5? Mm. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy holidays. Oh, I put I put the next game's logo oh, up. Oh, that's that right. Okay? That's fine. That's Should no I problem. change it back? No. Okay. Oh, is it easy? I don't know. Is it? You got to point to a different file, I think, right? Yeah, let's forget it. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay. already set up. It's the wrong logo on the screen right that's now. Fine. Sorry. Th that's a teaser for what's going to be later, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Let's say hi. Let's say hi. Yes. Hello, Snake. Hola. How are you doing? Yeah, and the Venom. And, and the Venom, Venom. Is that right? Venom. Oh, we, we will say Venom. We can say Venom. Yeah. I think Venom says Venom is okay. Cool. Um, excited for Rising. So am I. So are we. We're we'll very excited. We'll get there. We will get there. Val is here. Val, What's up, Val? You doing? Happy holidays to you. Happy time zone. And the Bamba with the pause quote. I know. I'll try Thank to do. I'll try to read it in a pause's voice. Peace day never came. Our wishes do not come true. We just cling on to our dreams, our phantoms. Mine and yours. That was really good. You good? Yeah. I her voice is very memorable very to me. Yeah. She knocked it out of the park. She did. Right. Tara Strong. Yeah. Um She all, she never misses. Ever. It's one of there there's only a few characters that translated or were carried over from um Peace Walker, which was part of the older kind of slightly oh, aloof silly tone that's true over to metal gear solid 5 which is immediately jarringly serious right yeah who else do we have we have like punished cause transferred over cause yeah and, and pause the two and piece pause. so she both it? of them knocked and, oh, it out and, of the park and how and how or oh, uh, sorry, huey, huey. huey huey let's not let's not get it mixed up yeah yeah pause transferred over really well yeah well it, yeah. it kind of played into that unsettling like yeah. oh she's not Some, not right something's not Something right. right this ain't this ain't right yeah. this ain't right but thank you for setting the tone la bamba appreciate it yeah thank you la bamba <laughs> and um malice peace day in three days yep. peace day peace, peace day. day's coming up and gently use frog hello thanks for being here How thank are you, doing, you frog? frog we appreciate you watching the vods i've been yes. responding to your comments oh, on youtube thank you very frog much from youtube thanks welcome for being welcome here. you never finish metal gear solid 5 finishes you yeah i'm finished oh not really we got a little more we'll we get have, to it we'll get we to have it. Uh, some uh, cut content we're, we want to watch mm -hmm. so we're gonna uh come back to it um let's see uh, Dan, Eddie is here. How's it going? What's it's going up, well for us. Happy How are holidays. you doing? Some um, that was really thanks, La Bamba. Some melancholic piano to go with that, and it'll be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Can you sing the um? What is that? Uh, love deterrence. Oh, oh my god! I forgot the melody. Ah, oh, how does it go, chat? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Oh, you remember? <laughs> It's like why am I asking it burned chat? into your memory. Yeah. Why am I asking Chad if they can remind me of the melody? Yeah. What are they gonna? <laughs> I have to type out like the notes or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could read that. And wings. Okay, now we need an Audrey Talker quote. I need burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I need burgers. Sixty-one. The flavor. Slower. You got to say it slower. That's yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, God. my God. We'll be here all night. <laughs> Only burgers provided relief from the phantom pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and thank oh, everyone loves my pause thank impression. You. Thank you for the uh, kind yes. words, everyone. Yes, thank you, thank you. How weird is it? I started playing Metal Gear Solid Three tonight, uh -huh. and then realized you guys are on tonight with Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, that yeah, we're not done. We're, we're not done with it. You know, all Metal Gear Solid fans are always playing Metal Gear Solid yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Well, who's it's always the season. For who's Metal playing Gear. Metal Gear Acid? Anybody? I mean, we had a whole year's worth. The year Metal Gear, somehow. We did, we did. So we we see you all. We see you all. Oh, Aww. that's that's very nice of you, Frog. Thank you. Yes. Thank you again for watching the vods mm. on YouTube. Everyone who came over from YouTube, shout out. Thank you. Shout out. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Um, but yes, uh, we're back. We're and back. We did. We're gonna do a little bit of more uh, Metal Gear Solid Five stuff, yeah. even so though this we. This is a short. Mm. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna call this a bonus stream. Bonus. So it turns out we're not done with everything to be considered in our opinion of Metal Gear Solid Five. Mm. Um, kitties are meowing. 
Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Metal Gear Solid 5, we finished last week. Um, but we're doing a bonus stream today. Thank you to everyone who used the debriefing channel on our Discord to um, link us to all of the, um, the additional content, throwbacks to the trailers, cut content that we may have missed. Um, for tonight, all we're going to watch and react to is um, a main op that I understand was cut from the game. Uh, main op number 51. Um, everything else we will consider watching when we do our eventual Metal Gear Solid debriefing stream. Um, we just want to do a short little reaction to this because I think this is probably the most vital thing for me to for us to really consume on stream. That makes sense. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that. Just do a brief stream of this. Cool. And then we'll cut it off for the VOD and then we'll switch over, switch gears and start this game. Sounds good. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. That's right, Dan Eddy. Metal Year. Metal Year. I love Metal it. Metal Year Solid. And Venom, uh, did we unlock the Rising outfit in 5? No. I think no. I was vaguely aware that that was a thing, but okay. if I have the free time, I'm going to go back into Metal Gear Solid 5 and there do some of the stuff. There we go. It never ends. It never and ends. And Devil's here, Devil. What's up, Metal Devil? Gear fans are always playing Metal Gear 24-7. Yeah, I, I, I believe it. And Dan, thank you for the triple hydrate. I'll go ahead and get that going thank you, thank thank you for it. using your channel points so i have the video queued up on youtube right now and to make it simple for us i have just the youtube app loaded up on our console and the follow from frog thank you so much frog thank you so thank much you. mini dance party for oh. you thank you so much for the follow we do little mini dance parties to celebrate so there's your personal party <laughs> Um, Malice misses Metal Gear dearly. There will never be another series like this. Yeah, that's why it was so special to get Audrey's first yeah. reactions but recorded for all of these. Unlike Peace Day for Pause, we can have Metal Gear. We can have Metal Gear. <laughs> it will never be only uh, three days away perpetually. Yeah. We can have it today. We can have it every day. We can come back to it. But yeah, that, that first uh, impression, of course, that's yeah. long gone. You're never going to get that again. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so before we hop in, my understanding mm. is... This main op number 51 was cut from the game. I don't know if it is explicitly known why. Maybe we can talk about that after we view it. You guys mm. can inform us about that. Um, but it was footage of it was then included. I think you guys said in like a limited or collector's edition of the game. Oh, That's something right. you can view, not play. Mm -hmm. um, and it's about 18 or 19 minutes long. Cool. Cool. Shall we check it out? Uh, Frog says the f they're on the first episode of MGS3. Nice. Oh. Very nice. Okay, so I... Nice. Thank you very much for watching them. I mean, it's a fun time. I got to watch them. Oh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Let oh, yes. That's a fun... That's a fun... Uh game yeah. or that game is special that game yeah. is special for sure oh not fully voice acted you want to read the stuff that's not voiced as oh sorry up? are we back are we in the game right now oh yeah yeah uh, or in the, in the in the video yeah let me go ahead and switch over uh, the is just telling us that mostly voice acted oh oh i see so now okay okay you could you okay with reading the stuff yeah that sounds okay. great um right, so gonna we're gonna watch over it here then is that okay it is mostly fully voice acted gotcha okay, okay. well audrey can voice code talker okay i call code code talker um so Spoilers for anyone who hasn't finished Metal Gear mm. Solid 5. Right. There's your warning. Because this, yes. Yeah. All right. Like 90% of it? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Ben. You guys are playing Metal Gear Solid 5? Kind of. Kind of. We finished it already. We're, we're reacting to uh, footage of cut content from the game now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to gonna watch up. a video right now. I'm going to switch to it. Okay. Your scene's working? Yeah. Cool. Should be working. Let me know if, if how the audio is. Yeah, let us know if we need to adjust the audio. Yeah, should be good to go. I'll keep an eye on it also. Ready? Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, if we need to pause it, let me know. So again, this is uh, Op 51. Yeah. The cut. I think there's going to be text or anything you might want to read. Op, okay. It's just game a footage. premise. I see game footage in the corner. Yeah, it'll, it'll give us a premise in the beginning. Hey, Rafa. Oh. Parting ways with Snake, Eli seizes control of Stahol Anthropus and leaves Diamond Dogs with his fellow child. You remember this. Yes. Is that loud, chat? Let me know. Let us know if we need to turn Boss, up or down. About Eli and his boys. Okay, this was you a know huge. Where they went? We're still working on loose end. It, but the chopper pilot they had fly them out of here is back. He calls back. And 
He said once Sahelanthropus and the chopper got out to sea, they split up and headed in different directions. The Thanks chopper long. headed straight for Africa. They made it about 50 miles inland before running out of fuel. Kingdom of the Flies. The kids used vines and duct tape to tie the pilot to his seat before they disappeared. He was almost dead from dehydration when the medics found him. They left him alive on purpose. Yeah, they're calling us out. They want to settle this. The intel team are using the direction Sahelanthropus headed and the direction the kids took off in to narrow down the search area. And with Hewick helping out, it won't be long before we know where Eli is. There's just one thing that bothers me. What's that? Apparently, there are already men going around the nearby villages asking for witnesses of the giant in the sky. Damn it. Already. We can't it's let the world know about it. This is usual for Cypher, even with Skullface gone. They must have been dying to get Sahelanthropus back ever since Afghanistan. And if they beat us to it, they'll be getting more than that. Eli's carrying the oh. strain of the vocal cord parasite. Dude. Okay, so two Eli loose ends all in one. Yep. They've spread the parasite across the island. Oh, oh okay. affect you if your voice hasn't broken. So they're safe for now. Eli's driven all the adults mission. off the island. Recess is officially in session. His own version of Lord of the Flies. Only instead of a pig's head, the Sahelanthropus. Yeah. And it's There's a lot of with something text going on. Flies. Preventing they adults from coming in. presented one demand in exchange for the nuke. Big Boss's body. Whoa. Those kids have got a lot. Oh my God! Yeah. Freaking Liquid wanting okay, Big Boss's boss. body. The objective is to recover Salanthropus and the children, Eli included. Once you're in the air, we'll hit the island with napalm. Can't let those things spread. It gets worse. Here's the tape from when Eli took off. <coughs> Where is he? I told you, your father's not here. <coughs> that fuck. His voice is starting to change. Oh. oh. Meaning he's almost a man. So if he's carrying the English language strain, well, if he starts showing symptoms, it's over. Oh, this mission would have been sweet. Oh my god, dude, this would have been sweet. So they did render some cutscenes. Oh, incomplete. wow. That looks sweet, yeah. 30%. Salanthropus. It would have been sweet. Do we know? Do. Wait, have we been told why this got cut, or are we? No, 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 we don't know. Okay, we don't know. We don't know, but maybe chat knows, right? I think so chat also doesn't know. Oh, chat. Oh, so like no one ever, no one knows. No one came out with the uh, the truth about the it. The truth. Okay. Okay. Drama. It's XOF at the same time. This meant to be DLC. Oh, oh this was, was this Kojima's decision? Okay, it seems like, yeah. yeah we'll fully discuss it. If you guys have more to share, we don't want to split our attention right now. I'm used to it. Though. Is this our first time seeing? Oh, no, this is XOF. Yeah, they're just a uh, hazmat suited up because yeah. they know the parasites are here. Smart. Yeah, there's Eli. Wow, him in that like seat like that. Yeah. Like as you know, liquid snake. Take the shot, fool.
Maybe because it involves kids, it feels... Well, I don't know. I mean, this game has a lot of effed up stuff. Yeah, it does. That's why I kind of stopped. Uh-oh. We're going to get an ad. We're going to get an ad. Oh, my God. Sorry, I did not log in. Oh, we are not oh sponsored by God. Fortnite. We gotta watch the whole ad? Okay, I should've just logged. I didn't want to log into <laughs> YouTube in this app. It's all right. You can change scenes in the ads if you'd like. This is it's a little preview of uh, oh my Revengeance. God, dude. Just Domino's <laughs> delivery online. Oh, dang. Pizza sounds kind of good though. Okay, we're back. Dang it, I should've just logged in. We're okay, hold on. No, 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 it's fine. That was very short. Next one's gonna be a 30 minute ad. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> pizza time. Palace, yeah, <laughs> fine pizza. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Star Wars Rebellion S. Has anyone ever piloted this thing? Well, there's a lot to be inferred, and some people said stuff in the VOD comments. Oh. That while it was supposed to be AI, the fact that there was a child-sized pilot seat oh. indicates that Huey lied to us a lot, which we know. Oh, right. That uh, he made it for Hal. I might have gotten something wrong there, but... Child sized pilot seat. Is it a trap what? they That's set? What was it? Is this a trap set by the kids? Oh, I don't know. Like something that lights up the perimeter or something? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's some more assets that are missing. Uh. It could be like extra little explosions and stuff. Father. I knew you'd be through there. You're not a kid anymore. You can call your own shots. But at this rate, you'll be dead before you have a chance. I'm free to die however I wish. Yes. Free. Oh. And what's wrong with that? Fighting the whole world. You don't get the last word, Father. I'll break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you! The body language, too. The way he does that. Yeah. Battle ensues between the man version of the Solent Chris pilot by Eli and the combined forces of the Diamond Dogs. Combined forces, dude! Oh, it's like Diamond Dogs actually oh showing up? Oh my god, dude. Diamond Dog shows up to fight? Never heard of that. I'm just kidding. Dude. Oh, wow. Look at this art. My love god. It. I love the, the whip sword You see the, the third child yes, being shot yeah. out of the sky? Eli's, Eli's defeated. defeated. Okay. Yeah, bro, another solid into this fight would have been sweet. This feels like it could have been the the ending of the game, you know, instead of certainly ending on the note that we did. Uh 
assuming at this point, somehow in the fight, their child yeah. is uh, out of the out of the picture. Seems like uh. it. First person is intense. Yeah. Stop being dramatic. Just do your job. Dude. Oh. Two more if you didn't see. Fine. This first person is is intense. We haven't really gotten a, a cutscene like this, I feel like. Head injury, the blast Ooh. triggers a seizure affecting his vision. Okay. Unable to differentiate between oh. red and white. Oh my gosh. Okay. For the suits. Whoa. Oh, and his arm. Oh, his arm. Okay, that's how they tell us. Oh, and like you remember when the the heavy injury and the colors change? Yeah, yeah. That's probably like foreshadowing for this, this story moment. moment where that matters. Wow. Limited control. First, oh, you must use first person view. Oh. Oh, got him. Checked us. I wonder what happens if you don't shoot him. Or if it's even possible. Yeah, we're probably still exploring that. Yeah. Another ad. Oh My no! My goodness. <laughs> Change the scene. Fix Don't the give them. Uh, really? See how oh, I mean, if it's already playing. It's only it's only that's fine. Joe Jonas. That was a Joe bro. Yeah. All right, we're back. Sorry. Where'd he get him? In the in the head? Uh-oh. What is this? I'm trying to dissect what his reaction really? is. No! no, because he the way he spoke about the Les Enfants, he's yeah. like, they're not yeah. my children. They're not my clones. Yeah. They're uh -huh. nothing to me. Whatever. Uh -huh. I don't care. But then... But what was that? Is what I was wondering. Maybe he cared a little more than he'd like to admit. Yeah, maybe. I feel like it's kind of like trope in movies where it's like, oh, we're not, even though we're blood related, you know, I don't, I don't care anything about you, but then it turns out you kind of do. Sort of. You think that's not Venom? But he has the, the whole thing was about the, um, Give me some room. the stuff lodged in his head. That, this is Venom. This is Venom for sure. Wait, was that last one not Venom? There's no way this is not Venom. Uh oh. He's fine. He'll be all right. The vest took the bullet. Get him on the chopper. We'll patch him up at base. Wait, what was the, why was he so dramatic in that? He, he thought, thought he took him out. He thought he had? Yeah. Huh? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boss, he's showing symptoms. Huh? Oh, no. Now what? does he have to take him out? Oh, good point, LeBomb. That's what you meant. <laughs> oh, oh, right, right, right. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was created by Cypher. And I was the floor. Oh. My face was written in my jeans. Recessive. Yeah. I'm the loser. You. All because of you. Which turned out to me not true. Right? I know. And then what? I'm not me. The quote I'm unquote me. dominant I'm just a copy of you. But he's still losing. Surpass my father. Destroy my father. Destroy you. I'll kill all the cipher. I'll destroy your precious world. <laughs> he could do it. We need to go fast. The cutscenes How's the movie. Yeah, this is an unfinished cutscene. That's why. Island's completely contaminated. Orders are to use napalm oh. to sanitize. Sanitize every square inch. Prepare to drop. Wait, We're what about? Out. Sorry, Go. did they decide about Eli? All right. All right. 
They're just gonna let them burn? I don't know. We have, we have the Ar Metallic yeah. Arcana though, right? Yes. Choose to live. You're one hell of a soldier. I will kill you! Counting on it. That's right. Oh. Don't blame yourself. Blame me. Oh. The gun. He left one bullet in it. I feel like he could have done it if he wanted to. Yeah, yeah he called his Is, uh, no, they're taking it. Oh, they're taking it. It's always the nano machines, right, Kulu? <laughs> <laughs> it's in pieces, too. Cool. That's right. Pieces. Oh, walking. here we go. A little Metal Gear Solid 4 moment. A little different. Oh! Oh, we gotta hear his voice. The breathing. We gotta hear Psycho Mantis's voice. Oh! Oh, that he pulled the parasites out. What? Oh my god, dude! Is he fully himself now? A cool little mo oh my god look at his what like peter pairing, pan dude. oh dude his, he has his conch on him too yeah lord of the flies he just ripped the parasite out of him oh my god. whoa sweet oh my god is that because he couldn't see between the red and the white kind of mm, moment no no okay, that's no, more right. of a i'm reading into it too much just a, like a mental image. Yeah. I'm guessing everything's supposed to be on fire here. Based on the sound? <laughs> Blossom is partly that and partly uh, a good meme that we like to repeat. Jeans, memes, and nanomachines. Oh. And that's it. Is that it? Get this stuff out of my face. I'm trying to ah. watch a video here. Get this out of my face. Not what is this? yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Okay. And then there's New York. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice. All right. You can change it. All right. So. <sighs> huh? Hold on. We have a lot to chat, a lot of chat to catch up with. Yeah, we do. Sorry, everybody. We had to uh, watch the. Uh, <laughs> we were focused on the cutscene, and there was no real moment to uh, pause. So, we're back. Um, yeah, we'll just chat about it now. Yeah, we'll just chat about it now. I'm gonna just kind of look through. Yeah, really we'll look through quick. what you guys said. Thank you for your patience. Yeah. Oh, Bigfoot, thanks for stopping by. And totally understand, but thank you for popping by and saying hi anyway. And I hope your migraine gets better. That that stinks. I yeah, hate Yeah, thanks for saying hi. Um, let's see. Yeah, so you guys clarified. Thank you. The tape where uh, Big Boss, it was the real Big Boss in that tape. That's, that's right. That's so right. And hey, Archong, I am your father. There was kind of a... <laughs> That no a was a little bit, bit Darth that, yeah. Vader. No. Yeah, kind of a uh, kind of moments. <laughs> if 
Cthulhu. Kojima's writing style is 19 hours of random nonsense, and then a brand new character looks directly at the camera and says, because nano machines, and then the game ends. <laughs> That's where I'm at Classic. right now. I was like waiting for the nano machines. I'm always waiting for the nano machines in these games. <laughs> it never really came. It, never, it actually never came. <laughs> yeah, we got we got parasites instead. Yeah, so this time it was instead. like yeah. parasites. Yeah, it's Wolbachia in this game. That's right, yeah. Malice. You can become Demon Snake if you lose a lot of heroism points. Hero yeah, I think I read about that. <gasps> Ooh. Like if you do a lot of, if you just like kill a lot of people. Oh, dang. That's a, that's a cool title. Uh, Frog says uh, Konami... Uh, read a few articles saying that Konami wanted the game sooner. Kojima was massively behind schedule and over budget with no real promise that an extension would resolve either of those problems. Mm. Konami wanted to focus more on pachinko machines. Yeah. Some people say he's been fired, and that's not true. Apparently, he intended to leave Konami after Metal Gear Solid 5. Mm. Ew, okay. Yeah, okay. we'll have to read more into that. But, like, yeah. there was some... They they didn't fire him, but they kept him off the project. Yeah. So far as to, like, keeping him physically away from the development team just so that the development team could just finish something and we'll put it out. We'll never know the full story. Is that pretty much as far as we know? Yeah. Um, so Snake and Liquid really wanted some pizza is what I got from that malice. Yeah. I mean, huh? yeah, so what what, what do we think about that cut, uh, that um, cut mission? The the end of this game, including all this, is just bridging the gaps, right? Yeah. We got a little bit of bridging the gap, uh, the saga of Big Boss leading into Metal Gear 1, right? Right. And with this character, Eli, we bridge the gap leading him into um, yeah. Metal Gear Solid 1. So in that in that respect, I feel like this was kind of necessary. This is pretty vital, right? Because at I remember at the end of the game, we were like, "Wait, what about what about Eli? What about Solanthropus?" Yeah. Anthropus? Well, I mean, they were they were clearly just setting stuff up, and then I think some of you guys said maybe they didn't have the time or the money. Yeah. To do it, and and we can Which, see from this concept art, yeah, uh, that it would have been a huge mission. This Probably was the gonna biggest be mission huge. in the whole game. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So. I wish they had done it. Yeah. It seems like it could have been cool. Yeah, it was that it does but, um, seem cool. It also it, looks dang expensive. You think so? Yeah. What makes it look expensive to you? Um, just the additional gameplay and environments wow. they would have had to create. Yeah. All of true, that. True, true. Mm. All the additional QA, polish, all of that. Yeah. So Liquid and Mantis grew up together? Yeah, and then um, we yeah, um, Labama says we don't know if they stayed together. They, oh. I suspect maybe they split up, and then when it was a time for the genome soldier stuff, Liquid was like, I need some way to control these genome soldiers. Oh, I know a guy. It I could know be something a guy. like that. It could be something like that, or they, they just, just had been working they together. Just, like the whole texted time. him or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, you still wearing that mask? <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Shady stuff from Konami. Whoa, okay. Yeah. Kojima was also vice president of Konami at that time? Mm, wow. Yeah. Um, have you seen the fan-made video Last Day in Outer Heaven? I think uh, you guys shared it on the Discord. Yeah. We haven't watched it. But there's plenty of more content that mm. um, we'll consider watching in a future Metal Gear Solid debriefing stream. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Yeah, they, uh, this was pretty much the most important part. Wings. Yeah. I pretty. This and the Venom Snake reveal. Yeah. Very yeah. important, I think. Yeah. And I think as a, as, you know, Metal Gear Solid, existing Metal Gear Solid fans go into this game expecting those bridges to kind of be like connected. Yeah. That Eli was a big part of that because we know who that is. So. Yeah. But everything else that got resolved was kind of like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, yeah. it started and ended in this game. But Eli's the big one that kind of like, yeah, you know, crosses over into the him and the Solanthropus and the third yeah. child and yeah. uh, the English strain mm -hmm. all came together into this one mission. Yeah, dang, Mantis could have maybe could have saved everybody. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, not that Mantis would have had any, you know. It just seemed like um, uh, the third child was never fully in control of his own powers. He just yeah, became yeah. a host yeah. for the most uh, lustful for revenge, revenge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. individual nearby, yeah. within range. Did it seem like in this moment, maybe Mantis kind of 
That's what I thought. Yeah. Acted. Became, became Mantis, I guess. Like, yeah. Used point. his own powers. Yeah. 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 That was, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah. Or Eli did it. I don't know. Right. But no, 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 no. Maybe the fact that he chose not to shoot Snake, Big Boss, <gasps> meant Let's... that his lust for revenge had subsided somewhat. Ooh, I like this. As an indication to us that the subsequent third child actions were of his own I like that will. a what lot. What do you guys think about that? I like that. I like that. I think that makes Such sense. It's a lust for revenge. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. An iconic, iconic quote. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, Philanthropist is a Metal Gear that never saw the light of day outside of Afghan territory. Yeah. Did they indicate where this island was? Was it still within uh, the area? No, they said to back to Africa. I think. they Remember, didn't they say something like they flew inland to Africa? Yeah, that's right. Oh, because like, they were searching. They got in, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. like 50 miles and they dropped off Pequod or whatever, or they left Pequod. Yeah. And somehow they moved. Mm -hmm. um, Rafa is the Metal Gear Solid series to be stream. Uh, would that be after Rising? Yeah, we, we'll talk about it a little bit more, but we decided yeah. the next duo stream is going to be Rising. We didn't feel comfortable with excluding it. Yeah, so we're going to start that very yeah. shortly. But who knows? Maybe we'll hate it and we'll regret it, but <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to love it. And, I mean, I'm ready for a good time. You know, yeah. I, if it's a good time, then I'm in. Yeah. I think the Venom reveal was more important, but this would have resolved the major plot threat. Yeah, uh, yeah I think yeah. so too. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Noticed recently that Rex looks a whole lot like Salanthropus, and I'm mad at myself for not noticing sooner. Yeah, especially the head. Yeah. The little rail gun. The rail gun, the I radome mean. The sphere. That's right. A lot of um, yeah, little things like that. I hope this is not spoilers, but oh. if you guys have seen that reveal trailer for DS2, oh. also known as Death Stranding 2, has mm -hmm. have you guys seen the trailer for that? Um, there was a moment where I, th I felt like they faked us out and it looked like Metal Gear Rex again. You guys, does anyone know the, the moment I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. When, the, when the camera angle and the physical shape of something. Anthony showed me. He was like, doesn't this look like Rex? And yeah. I was like, yeah, I guess it does. But you yeah, know, but then I don't when know it like zooms out, you're like, okay, that's not Rex. I don't know if I, I would have uh, noticed that, but I think. The, the, the shape of the top of Rex's head is like iconic shape. Yeah. Um, I still really, really, really like Metal Gear Solid 5 for what it is, though. Still an awesome game with or without this. Yeah, we've had a week since we finished the game yeah and um i like what you said last week labamba like i like to judge it based on what we got mm. not by what we could have could have gotten or did, did get sure. so i can see both sides of people like it's hard not to acknowledge mm. that we could have had more mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but what we got it was pretty sweet so i yeah. agree with labamba with that yeah i think so i think the if I can let go of my some of my preconceived notions of what a complete game is, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, some I, of the story threads did get a conclusion. They did, they did. Yeah. Um, I think maybe when I when we finished, I was like, oh, that was an ending, you know, kind of thing. Like, did it feel abrupt? It felt a little abrupt, and you know, maybe because of the episodic nature of the chapters, it Certainly, was like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. oh, these are two different endings for like kind of this this game and yeah. so it didn't feel like a big like a big grand ending especially with the nature of the structure of not only us streaming it only once a that's, week that's true too. but also the mission base like you could yeah. you could do like 50 side ops before you finally get around to that final mission mm -hmm. whereas someone was just 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 mainlining mm -hmm. main op to main op to main op yeah it maybe felt more epic to them because yeah. they were just doing everything back to back. It could, yeah, maybe maybe the, there was probably a layer of that too. Not saying I didn't like it because I, I of yeah. course, really liked it and uh, everything that we saw in it. So, yeah, yeah it was it was really cool. Yeah. And I played a ton of it off stream, way more than I expected to. Um, Regan, I see that you like sweet cutting. Yeah, what if he, the third child started saying that? <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I was like, wait, why? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I see you have a... Uh, Rising Revengeance downloaded it right and uh, so pre, talking about our stream really? yeah. <laughs> well you know when the when the reveal happened yeah with the photo with the, yeah. with the photo and that it was that soldier and yeah. I, I had forgotten that we had named 
well, there's, you know, leading up to that photo moment, I was yeah. like, oh, it's going to be the soldier, right? Mm-hmm. But then when he flipped the, the photo and over. Is that Reini? Like Reini? double surprise. I was like, what? What is happening? And then, yeah. I, and then I remembered. Oh, what a, what a reveal that was. What a reveal. And happy we had that on stream. Mm-hmm. We'll never know. Probably. We'll never yeah, know. We'll never fine. know. Don't have to know everything. King of the Flies is an island in a salt lake in the Angola Zaire border region. Gotcha. Venom says, okay, thank you. Thank you. And Rafa, thank you. If you need any help structuring the extra content stuff, I'm sure a few of us can help. Yeah. When mm-hmm. it comes time to start planning the things we want to cover in the debriefing stream, I'll let you guys know. Um, ideas for polls and mm. maybe some community polls for you guys' favorite this and that things. Mm. That would be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. We haven't done a big debriefing stream like that in a while. Mm-hmm. Last mm-hmm. we did was for Final Fantasy, right? That's right. That's that was right. sweet. Um... Yeah, some folks waiting to watch the uh, trailer after they beat Death Stranding. Totally understand. We would normally be doing that under yeah. uh, normal circumstances, but I think in this case, we just decided, just, uh, yeah. decided to treat ourselves. What's on Metal Gear Solid 5 playthrough from someone, and he said something that resonated with me. He said, I've been told this game was unfinished, but to be honest, if you made someone play this game without telling them it's unfinished, they would never know. Yeah, that's Five what I was so talking good. about. Like. Mm. If you don't know, like, ignor- ignorance mm. is bliss, perhaps, in that situation. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, most... The missions at the end were probably not done by Kojima, because mm. he had already left. Okay. Most of the main missions do a little to further the actual story. Then they try to repeat that crap with the harder, exact same missions. Yeah. The framework is there, but it's super disjointed and doesn't Yeah, well. but at least they didn't have a yellow dot. We weren't required to do those more challenging versions. Yeah. Which and I also didn't. So yeah, maybe maybe in the future you might go back to it. Um, Rafa, thank you for checking out the VOD and yeah, the reactions were fun for sure. Yeah, thank you for catching up. Malice uh, really likes Metal Gear Solid 5's theme of language and its connection to culture and thoughts. I never thought about it that way. Yeah, I, I like I do like that they addressed that. They touched on that a lot with the um, a lot of the tapes that you didn't get to hear. Oh, they like fleshed out those. Um, themes a lot mm-hmm, everything mm-hmm. was connected yeah um yeah yeah it, d- it has it's good and it's bad but you know wings i had a good time had a good time yeah favorite moment favorite moment mm-hmm. in our metal gear solid 5 playthrough or maybe memorable any memorable moment to you maybe something that stands out to you um the snail guy the snail guy snail guy was a champion he was a, a true uh, hero uh, ven- ven- yeah, we've moose? already praised him a lot huh moose ven- no eventual moose was um at the end oh, the on other- the way out we had to kill him oh that's right because he was the one Who guy that didn't snail- show oh, the, oh yeah snail, snail guy, guy was a scientist that had the, have- the recorded yeah he, he was showing symptoms but he still had Control of sense himself. Of to re- to sen- yeah, sense of self. To add Crazy. that log. He's like the scientist that dies in the middle of recording the stuff happening. Yeah, to him, you know? that was wild. True hero. That was wild. Um. Oh, Metal Gear Solid Five has another ending, but it is unlocked with an impossible action. Yeah, I'm aware of this because... Online? Um, I mean... Uh, let me try to explain it to y'all, to Audrey, and then you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Because mm. th- this hit like um, headlines, what, a couple years ago. Mm. There was a specific condition in which all players online could see a yet another ending oh. or cutscene. Where, I don't know if you remember in the FOB system, you could uh, develop nukes or you could steal nukes or you can spend money to disarm nukes. Mm-hmm. If all players online um, dismantled all of their nukes, getting rid of all the nukes in the world Mm -hmm. then a special ending could play and but i think something wrong happened on (gasps) their servers Mm -hmm. and even though the conditions weren't met everyone got to see that ending oh okay wow so that's yet another one i think that's one of the videos you guys shared for us on the uh debriefing room channel on our discord we'll we'll watch it one day is is that pretty much what happened concept strange concept yeah never heard of that um (laughs) 
Anthony has it right. La Bamba. Okay. Lawson well, asked, do, do game designers work sequentially? That doesn't seem like it would always be the best. Like a lot of writers will write out of order, then edit later. I feel like it would be a good idea to make sure the beginning and end of a game are polished and the middle is a little more flexible, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Blossom, that's a great question. I feel like that makes... Yeah, I don't know Tweet either. Tweet at Kojima. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Find out, Blossom. What's Let going us know. on, bro? Um, Cool. Does that about wrap up Metal Gear Solid Five? Yeah, I today? think that wraps up Metal Gear Solid Five. Thank you guys for this hey. bonus stream. Thank you guys again for sharing your passion and enthusiasm for this beautiful game. Mm -hmm. Love it or hate it, uh, it's an impressive game that came together in a way that I enjoyed yeah. um, more than I thought I would. Mm. Um, we're going to do a nice brief ending for this part of the stream just so we have a nice cut for the VOD. And then we're going to hop into starting our next duo stream, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Let's do so it. So stick around. My name is Anthony. And I'm Audrey. Together we're Rieni. See you in just a moment. <laughs>